Oh boy, YouTube family. I know y'all ain't think I was going to be gone and not come and talk about this here finale we got. Man, talk about a barn burner. Talk about a canceling Christmas, cutting water off. Tasha came back and came through with the ghost. It's Lamont Tyson, Life Games Channel. That bears my name. And I'm here to break down what happened in the finale. Power Book goes to, ladies and gentlemen, season three. And we're going to be doing two hours tonight. One hour, the first hour, I'm going to have Moochie, J Mo, Monique Nicole, and Nita the Diva. And then in hour number two, possibly B Avery, Miss K, and the Khaleesi. This thing is open up all night tonight for the next two hours. For all your comments, all your theories, everything you think is going to happen. And we're going to have a whole lot of fun when our guests get up in here. But until they do get in here, let's see who's in here and who's making a way for us, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, y'all know some of the usual crew. The big homie Suburbia Jones, Michelle, Lion's Den, Piggy Brooks, Peggy Brooks, excuse me. Um... Let's see here. Tressa C, the big homie. What's up? Mally Lee. LSW, kind of like RSJ. Anybody with a name that's just initials, you better keep an eye on them MFs. Adina Collins. What's up, D? Happy Friday. Rashonda, happy Friday. Eric Harris, happy Friday. Crystal Black. Effie is a triple agent. Elfie's out for self. And let's see here. Von Joyner, Brenda V. As we wait for our guests to get in here, let's get this conversation popping. By the way, y'all, don't forget, be sure to go and download the Brothers Podcast, man. It looked like this. Where is it? There you go. Go check out my podcast, man. Don't forget I'm over there. Also, go check me out on TikTok. Don't forget I'm over there. And be sure to download me on Twitter, IG, all those famous places. And now, ladies and gentlemen, some of the crew y'all remember with me when I used to go live. I've got a lady and a gentleman. I'll introduce the gentleman first. Some of y'all know him as Aaron Rojas. And you heard me talk about his ass in my last video I did about power Book four force, ladies and gentlemen. It's the big homie J Mo. What's up, J Mo? What's good? What's good, man? How you feeling? I'm hanging tough, brother. How about yourself? I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm uh, good to be back. Good to see you. Good. Good to hey. talk a little bit more power. Yeah, man. Let's talk that power. And uh, <laughs> folks, let me remind y'all: the ones that are in here, we've got a hundred already. When I go to my second hour, J Mo is going to be taking y'all on his channel too. So get ready for that. And who knows how long he might be up here. He might be up here till four o'clock in the morning, Chicago time. <laughs> got to go get tuned in. And then, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have another guest tuning in all the way from south of damn France, ladies and gentlemen. She's down there at the Cannes Festival where I'm supposed to be at. Ladies and gentlemen, when you need chocolate, and it's more than just a drop. It's that good chocolate, the kind that wake your ass up in the morning. It's the homie, Monique <laughs> Nicole's in the building. What's going on, Monique Nicole? Hello, Mark and What's James, up? What's you guys. Up? Hey, hey. What's up? Lamont be having those intros, don't he? The best intros in town. <laughs> on the YouTube streets, the best oh, intro. Yeah, you well, do. you know, um, Hollywood need me for something, so oh, I, I got to at least be good. I at least got to be good with some damn intros, you know. I got to do something right. And speaking of intros, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, when when you go to a hardware store, most of the time you're going for this piece of equipment. It ain't a screwdriver because it's a damn hammer. What's Gucci's up, y'all? <laughs> what is up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
<laughs> How y'all doing tonight? <laughs> we good. We good. How about yourself? I'm all right. All right. Let's get on into it. But I got Super Chat. Super Chat coming through. Baby Boy 8603 $4.99. Appreciate you, homie. What's up with everybody? This episode lets us know that Tariq is not smarter than Ghost. If it wasn't for Brayton and Obi, Reek was dead. He's got a point. He definitely has a point. And he's got somewhere to stick that point to. I'll say that. And since Baby Boy done set it off with the Super Chat, we might as well start the discussion right there. J-Mo, I'll come to you first. How did you like the ending of the finale? Tariq was Mm. cornered and about to die. And he was saved by Wakanda Forever and (laughs) Brady. Wakanda forever. <laughs> Black Joffrey. I, I call him yeah. Chocolate Moose. She sliced <laughs> off a piece of that chocolate moose up off of him earlier. She cut him, boy. But uh, no, nah, we we see that, uh, in my opinion, I don't like when I would prefer when a hero or the, the star of something or whatever is not cornered in situations especially time and time again and they're able to get away um mm-hmm. either don't put them in that situation or something got to happen to them and so that was uh he was really cornered like point blank and uh i don't know how he made it out of that one man that was that oof. i thought that was uh you know a little stretch armstrong but hey it's, it's the power <laughs> universe so <laughs> they shouldn't have let him get that close. They he could smell their cologne. Like that was too close to to get a, get out that without a, a scratch. But mm-hmm. you know it is what it is. I guess that's the the beginning of the new Tommy and Ghost. And either one of them got none. He got that car. That's it. He, he, it's probably the repo man looking for that. So they both broke. His family is broke. Ponzi broke. He ain't got no trust fund. Now they really do have to be selling drugs. So, mm-hmm. wow, they better not come what? to Chicago. I was I was about to say, Monique Nicole, can you can you can you see a Brayton and Tariq hooking up with a Rojas and his distributor <laughs> to keep this story going? <laughs> In the power universe, anything is possible. Uh, they make I the impossible. So. They make the impossible possible on this show. So hey, that that, oh. that sounds like a great idea, actually. Do we make it happen visitor? for like seven more seasons, then a couple yes, more we, spin-offs. We, we have a visitor who hasn't been here in a while that wants to oh, say hey to y'all. Girl. Hey girl. She's getting so big growing up so fast. Say so I'll be three in a month. What? Uh, oh my yeah. goodness. Three? All right. Three. Three. I, I, this many? Mm-hmm. All right. Tell your friends bye bye. You should be in bed anyway, right? What you getting, girl? Mm-hmm. Right. You got a snack? What you got? You want me to have some? I can have some. Oh. <laughs> <It's> so sweet. <laughs> All right, El. Thank you. We'll see you later. All right, Monique, finish what you're saying. I see your flirting tail back there, so you're yeah. home. Mm-hmm. Wait, what were you talking about? What's the question? <laughs> How did you feel about the way they ended this finale? Oh, I thought the last 10 minutes was excellent. I think from the moment that we discovered um, Drew and Diana's plot, from, yeah. the, from that point to the end, to me, that was giving me some of that old school power. Some of that okay. old power feel it was giving that to me. Um, and I really enjoyed it. The mm. plot twist and everything. I thought it was excellent. Wow. I'm I'm very interested to hear what a hammer has to say. What how you gonna drop the hammer on us tonight, Moochie? How am I gonna drop it tonight? I like the way it ends it. I love the um finale. Um the plot twist was crazy. I am mad at Drew and Diana because they that was a dumb play that they made and it it, it went sideways um it did. 
But I do like how Braden came through in the clutch. Mm-hmm. He did. Um, he did. so you know he came through in the clutch, and you know he, he, he look. I think he, I think he got Kane. So, but I don't. I but I seen him shooting back after that. So he must, he might have hit him, but I don't know if he hurt. You know what I'm saying? He might not be dead. Yeah. Right, right. I think I know yeah. he hit him. Mm-hmm. He hit him with a gun where he shot the gun out of his hand that first time or something like that. It was something crazy like that. But I liked it. I'm here for it. I want to see where they driving to next. Mm-hmm. He could he couldn't quit cold turkey. He couldn't mm-hmm. quit that cold turkey. Now you can leave his man's like that. That's his boy. Yeah. That's that was excellent. That's, and even though they met in, in choke, Braden is Tariq's day one. Yeah. No matter how you put it. That's his day that's, one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I said on my thing, uh, he came back. Why can't I quit you? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Brayden got that um, stop reek syndrome. You know, just, stop reek keep syndrome. Get, just keep getting his feelings hurt over and over again and keep coming back. We have a super chat, y'all, from hey, Monique Monica. M. Monica. My, excuse me, Monica M. I'm sorry. Ghost almost got killed before and Tommy saved him. Ghost was always played by Angela originally. He also sent for Angela. It happens. Yeah, well, you know, it runs in the family. Runs in the family. <laughs> he sent for, he sent for three at a time. This time he sent all three at the all same three. time. And in all case, three. two of his women played him out in the end. Two, I mean, he got played by two of them. Really, realistically, all of them played all them three, to, really to some degree because Just his heart really and truly, his heart really and truly was with um Lauren. I believe, I really believe that out of all three of those girls, he really dug Lauren more than any of them. Mm-hmm. And even she's about to distance herself from him. But I think Lauren has finally turned dark, Lauren. And next season, she's going to be even darker. I think she's going to be on Tariq team because. Tariq needs a team, y'all. It is basically, it's Brayden, RSJ, (laughs) and Tariq versus every damn cartel. You got the English cartel in Noma. You got the the Russians that Monet done screwed. You got the Tejadas, what's left of them. And then you got Effie that done came back, and now she want more revenge on Tariq, and she's probably going to really sling them draws at um, Kane next season if he alive. The boys need some help. They and RSJ help. already bounced well, well, on them on his jet. He, they need help, but he, they ain't the only people that need help. So I think people is going to be helping each other next season. Mm. Well, well elab- elaborate, Moochie. Who, who, what, what other folks going to be helping I just think people going to be helping other. other people. Look, we done brought back some people from the original power. So we're going to see a lot of shake. They're going to shake things up now, and they're going to make it happen. Union. So that's a good question. Do you that's think Tommy? Question. Do you think Tommy's gonna come back and help? No, he already said he wasn't. But I do feel like they're gonna go help him, and then one one hand wash the other. Mm. We might see stuff where it's gonna drag over to Power Force, and then uh-huh. circle back to Power Ghost. Mm. I, that, what I, about, I'll say it like that. What about Tasha? Tasha going I be believe a, she's we, she's she, she done left. Come on, y'all now. Y'all know Tasha's mo. She gonna leave the, left the kid with Big Mama, <laughs> Big Mama in them say. And now she about to. She already done. She already done got her hands dirty this time. Yeah, yep. exactly. When she yep. was like, when she when she did that spray, she done look. She done got I her mean, hands dirty. I was I was laughing with the way she was spray. I was like, damn, but was. Is that all the three LW shooting the damn good? Because it was spraying left and right. It was like more, more than it one good. It was just look, bringing it back and forth. Look, she yeah, caught I Monet. Mean. I was surprised with that. How she catch her on the side, but she caught her. Not three LW. <laughs> I was like, it's just Boy. three guns shooting. Like, Y'all want to know the truth? Y'all want to know something? Yeah. I actually thought in the end, when Brayden saved the day, I at first, for like maybe 10 seconds, I thought it was Tasha at first. That saved the day, like that oh, came in. I, okay. I thought it was Tasha in the big like for 10 seconds. I thought it was Tasha, but it was Brayden. But I don't know if I was the only one. 
Mm. I, I was I, honestly, y'all, I was happy to see Tasha pop up. I was. Me not too. not only did she pop up, she popped up with a vengeance because how you gonna do your how, she needed to come and check Monet. That's what she needed to do. And instead of running up on Monet and <laughs> slapping her, she was like, no, nah, I'm a dead this bitch. And she went through and she dead her, we think. Now, what I want to know from the panel is, do y'all think Monet going to survive? Of course. Yes, she's going to survive. For sure. She's going to survive. She'll be back next season. She needs to be back. Yeah. So, so Jay, Monet and Kane going to both survive? I don't know. I mean, it could. I'm thinking of it in a different way, different angle with Monet. It's like, I don't know, behind the scenes, maybe it could be a contract, maybe, or something. I don't know. Oh, maybe she might, if the money ain't right, I don't know. Who knows? We did see on the shy Ridge, he we thought he may be back and he died in the hospital, I guess. So we never know sometimes with something like that. Um, so I don't know. I'll give it that, you know, possibility if she may not make it because of something like that. But, uh, as far as Kane, I don't think he got, you know, shot seriously, um, enough mm-hmm. when they're going to take him out, especially if they do get rid of both. I doubt it'd be both. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I would say Monet would deserve it more than Kane. Not that, he a good, not that he a good guy. <laughs> he, yeah, I agree with you, deserve, Yeah, hey. not that he don't deserve a bullet one day coming, you know, but <laughs> Monet is woo-wee. Yeah, Monet is, man, she, look, I'm with Jay. Monet deserve it more than Kane. I'm with, I'm, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with, I'm with sure. Let me hit y'all with the super chats. So, the wandering sage, hmm. Made me think about herbs and spices I put on my damn food. Says, peace, y'all. Wonderful ending. With all those that betrayed Tariq, who deserves a bullet the most? Ooh. In my opinion, it's NBA housewife <laughs> Drew. <laughs> yeah. I definitely think Drew should get it before. Yeah, no. also. I, think, no, I think he right should all come back and dead them all. That's how I feel. They're or like, do they use the, the, the app and swipe with Drew and get him to come somewhere because he's so damn gullible now and he's trying to get his groove on. Mm-hmm. Remember how he was last time? He's going to be right back in that phone again. Ding, ding, Moochie. ding. M- Moochie. I, I know how to read. I can tell that y'all ding, how to read. Ding, don't get him in trouble, too. Uh-huh, that's so. why I said the ding, ding. Uh, <laughs> I, I can tell y'all ding, how to read. I can tell y'all how to read and him up Drew. All he got to do is go get Everett and use Everett as bait. And then that'll be the end of the little Tink Tink Drew. That's all he got to do. Diana, to me, Dirty Diana deserves the bullet more than Drew. 100%. What? Nah, it ain't, Not I, more I than dead Drew. Them all. Come more back and dead Drew. them all. He got to do a ghost move. If he don't do a ghost move where, like, how, how ghosts took out everybody and they, they thought it was the cartel, uh-huh. then, then I don't want to see it. I feel like he needs to come back and dead them all. Each Somebody and every went. one of them. And one After day, like ghosts, Diana, yeah. Drew, and <clears throat> if if Kane ain't finished, finish him off. He That's my Kane. opinion. Yep. My order yep. of who need to go would probably be Monet, Drew, yep. Diana, then Kane. I think Kane hmm. got hit, so now he really gonna want to come after him. That's right. That's right. So, so he, let me let me he read gonna want to come chat. after Braden. <clears throat> Definitely. LS, LSW says mm-hmm. Tariq forgot what Tasha told him on how to handle the women in his life. Mm-hmm. Of course he did. Of course he did. Hey, when What's them panty drawers start w? talking to you, boy, you forget a lot of stuff. Well, then, he, he did try to listen, though. He tried. He tried to keep Effie close, but, you know, she, she still backdoored him. You think? He yeah, she's a wild card. Coach? I think yeah, he, he did, did her wrong when he got out. She got out of jail. No, she I'm talking. He it, he did do her wrong, but he tried to keep her close, just like his mother said. His mother was like, when he went to her last season, she she he said he talked to her, but he said I can't. I don't know if I can trust her. She said you have to keep her close. Then 
And but that's what he did. He blown, she was in the they was him? in the dorm room. She he kept her under his thumb, but you know, you can't watch somebody all of the time. True. Yeah. But I'm saying when he picked her up from prison, he blew that. He handled that totally wrong. Because if he'd have handled that right, she would have been on his side and she wouldn't have tried to set him up. She should he should have played her like like how she played him. I agree with that. But he he was so hell bent. He was so stuck on her going behind her back, his back and talking to Kane that he couldn't see none of that. Mm -mm. This yeah, he, and, and, and she he, thought things yeah. was gonna be different once she got out. If 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 he did do what you're saying, Jay, what you said he should have did, take her, welcome her back, open arms, and we gonna have a life together. But now from this point on, if anything happened, you gotta do X, Y, Z. She would have went like, oh, "All right, Tariq, I'm with you," because she would have been thinking about Paris and all of that mm. other stuff. <laughs> right. Right. And, and, I mean, at the end of the day, he could have just lied. Like, right. I mean, Play, he should have, but he know that I don't she know why they didn't make him that smart. With he, he know she had some thug meat on her plate. He can't get over it. Yeah, yeah. But do, and I do bet he even... would have. She would have rocked him to sleep if Tori told him to. Told her to. Look what yep. I learned. You did that. He taught you that. <laughs> I guess he ain't that bad, but I still don't like him. Right. She <laughs> but took at the end too of the day, to tell the truth. She did. She took way too long. Um, shout out to L. Daniels. He says, Tommy and Tasha back cool. But remember, she told Angie Sis who killed her. Which brings me to another question. I'll start this one with you, um, Monique. How did you feel about old girl son? Three um three T getting a letter from the dead Cooper Sacks. And what did you think was in the contents of that letter? That one threw me for a loop because I didn't see that one coming. Like, why why is he gonna get a letter? Of all people, why him? And to be honest, I don't really have anything to say right now because I don't, I'm still trying to process it. Why would he get a letter from Sacks? You know, what is gonna be on that hard drive? You is, it, you, is it tied to Angela? Yeah. Is it tied to Angela and Ghost in some type of way? Possibly. What you think, Moochie? I see you. <laughs> oh, you on mute, baby. I feel like he still got his ties with the F, with, 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 with where he worked. Uh -huh. He got some people in there and somebody shot him the little picture of Tommy. And they know he's there. That oh. boy going to transfer. We're going to see him transfer to Chicago. Oh. yeah, That's mm. what I believe, too. I think he's going to be right there with Blanca Rodriguez in yeah. Chicago. She's going to be like, Word. I need you to come with me. You want to, yep. you want to save your, you want to get redemption for your auntie. Then I'm the one you need to come with. And Mucci, <laughs> we could take down Tommy E, Thomas Egan, and Ter Thomas Patrick, Patrick Egan. You got to say Egan when you do Blanca. We can take out Thomas Egan. <clears throat> Thomas Egan and Tariq St. Patrick. We can take down the whole bunch and we don't even need to look back at New York. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to be after you, Rojos. They're going to they're gonna be messing up your prison game. Hopefully I get out. I, look, I, look, I, I think he's going to get out. I think he's going to get out. He's going to have some little nursemaids. They're going to be you know, I already made my prediction. If y'all want to look at it, look at it. But I know he he coming back. He coming back for revenge because he already mad at Diamond. See, <laughs> I know how this is going to go, too. Rojas is connected to the plug Tommy about to use. And Rojas is going to be put in a very precarious situation having to work with Diamond. And I'm wondering how is Rojas going to handle that heat. That's all let I want to know. Let me find out that Janoy going to get in Ro Ro Rojas's ear. <laughs> And make him like try to do something crazy, but and I hope he don't listen. You better not listen. Y'all got y'all got good theories. Mm -hmm. I hope this, this goes like five or six or ten episodes for multiple <laughs> series. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask y'all another that, question. Please. <clears throat> and I'll start this one with you, Moochie. How did you feel about the way Noma responded? To everything she learned from Monet about what happened to her light-skinned baby daddy. 
<laughs> she weighed she weighed the options, but you know, she I I feel like I feel like Monet talked a good game. Yeah, she was a city yeah. slicker at this point. Yeah, she was like, look, you know, at the end of the day, he was an f boy, <clears throat> and that's he what was. he was. He was an f boy. He was playing you, and he was playing me. I don't love him. You know, yeah, yeah I don't care for him, but I don't love him. But you know, it is what it is. And she still <laughs> said she was not admitting to nothing. She's like, I'm not. Yeah, she said she ain't, she ain't admit. Now she she didn't say that she pulled the trigger. Right, she didn't. But she was like, you know, why are we gonna let an f boy get between us? Let's get this money. And uh, look, exactly. I don't blame her. Money. All right. Let's get this money. This money. What? That's one I thing what... I would have did differently if I was Tariq at the end also is that he went with the daughter first, which that would have been probably the last thing I would have went with. And I'd That's have been all like, he had, though. No, I, it, but I he don't know that she knows that Monet killed Mecca because he wasn't there. So he know they working together, but he don't know what they don't know and what they do. So I'd have been like, you working with her and she killed Mecca? Well, by the time he got mm -hmm. there, she was, was already yeah. on. That's yeah, she, she was called. in a bad it, it was too late. So it's it, like, yeah. if, if he feels like they already talk, if she's in charge now, she let it be known and they all right with it. So that's probably why he's not mentioning it. I, I don't know. I might have still said that first because I might have thought. I don't he should have brought that out first. I do yeah. agree with you on that. But, you know, he didn't. He I, you know, you got to look at it. He's still a kid. Child. It's he like still, you done went too far. Like that's like, how could you step back from that? If you any everybody got kid, anybody threaten your child, you know, that's like that's damn, you went too far now. It's like it's all or nothing type yeah. stuff. You know I, what mean, I mean, well, they threatened his grandma. <laughs> True. They did. A, a, a True. relative for a relative. And and I'm just life, pulling the he was same about game to die. Me. So, yeah, and it was he was about to die, so he was trying to come up with whatever he could. Don't get yeah. me wrong. Mm -hmm. He I might have, yeah. I would have said that probably next. No, <laughs> you know, it would have been like maybe two minutes later. No. Hmm. <laughs> so baby boy has come back and he is saying, I think it's a recording from when Sax had his niece trying to get info about Tariq. Y'all remember his niece, right? Yeah. Purple hair girl. Remember, yeah. I think it was season one or two. Mm. They was at a party and Reek confessed about something. I remember that. That's a good point. Good point. Mm -hmm. I forgot about old girl. Okay, but yeah. when they was at the party, the thing he did that if you talking about that whole tape with him talking about a grave saying he took out his father? No, nah, he's talking about the girl, the white girl that was at the dorms that was Yeah, with I'm Ray. talking I'm talking with the it was Sack's niece. Yeah, but, yeah, he, but then didn't she do some stuff too. Max got the recording on his own, didn't have nothing to do with her, which I'm thinking he could have sent that too. Or keep in know, mind both. another but, thing because somebody's mentioned it in the chat. He was talking to Proctor because remember, he got Proctor to flip. So he maybe, he, maybe I hope I don't think he has that tape. But he might have the tape with Tommy taking out that dude. Which and dude? if he do, if yeah, he do, it's definitely the, connected the, the, to Chicago. The, uh, the, the, the Homeland Security dude. Oh, oh y'all forgot yeah. about him, didn't y'all? Laptop. I did forget about yeah. that. Laptop. So laptop. That, remember that the, was... the chip that that that. How can I say this? The chip that. What's her name? Lisa. Lisa Marie. The chip yeah. that Lisa yeah. Marie got was destroyed. Remember, she destroyed it right in front of him. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So he was talking to Sax, and Sax was basically Sax was the one that made him flip. But, how but would then this Sax got Tariq, fired. Though? How would this affect Tariq though if he gave him that? Like all them people. I don't think it affects it. Tariq. I think it's Tommy, hun. But they think he did, don't they? Yeah, but I think. For some reason, that's why it's not making sense to me. So, only thing I could see is we already know Paz knows that Tommy did it because Tasha let it mm. let it be known because when she was gonna walk away from all that money. 
So I don't think it has anything to do with Tariq. I really don't. Really? I think it I think it's all connected to Tommy. Okay, wow. Because that's gonna what? make that's Tommy's gonna be that his his white whale. But so right. you don't know that uh Tommy is alive though. Well, that's what we got to find out. Know. I yeah. think it's gonna be something, something <clears throat> that you gotta keep in mind. Y'all not putting all the pieces together. I just mentioned it earlier. Sex, even though he was fired, he still know people that's in there. That's that that got stuff. They got the mm -hmm. picture of Tommy in Chicago. They said, mm -hmm. I think it might be that photo. I, if, if it's not that, it might be but something from the Homeland Security. And that Homeland Security don't really got nothing to do with. I think it gotta be something that gotta connect with Angela. That's what I said with Angela. It has That's to what be I something think. to connect with Angela for this boy that with with this boy gonna want to drop everything and transfer to Chicago. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Agreed. I, I, I'll Agreed. elaborate it on. I'll elaborate on it more tomorrow night. That's all I can say about that. My little quick little thoughts on that is, uh, I think that he probably left some audio or something saying that uh, the St. Patrick's, you know. Part of the reason your auntie ain't here, <clears throat> Tariq is is dirty, or you know, give him a little info. But then again, I think he may tell him be careful and don't really go after this stuff because he told Jenny at the same time, don't chase the white whale, <clears throat> and you know, ruin your life pretty much. Yeah, but so then why would he give a letter to a young boy and say go chase this white whale and ruin your life? We could see that oh. Sax is all over the place, though. He sent he was sending out letters because he was a mm -hmm. desperate fool at the end of his ropes. Desperate. I think it'd be He's desperate, and he was just reach. grasping for grasping yeah. for something to like. If something happened to me, I want to burn everybody. Yeah. If if because I already know I'm gonna die. Because he lied in that one letter. Uh, he lied in a couple of them. Yeah. Tariq so, wasn't no informant. No. Right. He lied exactly. in that letter. Exactly. So, so we don't know don't if it's know. a lie anyway. It could be a lie where he kind of put together that this person took out your um your he probably say junior I'm tell junior <laughs> I almost said the name wrong. <laughs> junior <laughs> he probably tell him that Tariq killed Angie. Cause he said in the other letters, if something happened, I blame Tariq. So these letters is like blame to wreak revenge type stuff, you know. And uh, I think if anything, he probably lied and said the reason I've been after him so bad is because he killed your aunt, which would be a yeah, lie. Yeah, he probably is gonna right. say that. I, yeah. I, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised. And the way Paz gave it to him, you can't tell me she ain't look at that little flash drive first. You know, know it, right? the saying. letter was so when she came and when she stopped what true. she was doing and bought it to him. Right, I'm just saying, and she don't know. Right, she know who Sax was and all was going yep. on. So I'm, I thought Sax tried, Sax tried to have sex with her at one point. In time. <laughs> Sax, made, he did. Sax made ass at her at one point in time. So you know, I'm with Moo. You know, good and damn well she done stuck that hard drive in something. And look yeah, when she stopped that. what she was doing, it was like, Junior, you didn't come home. When she said all of that, <laughs> she was letting him know, look, you ain't come home from work. Look, this is something that someone left for you, and you need to see it. Right, delivering one piece of mail. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Who comes Who all the way up hell? Come on, I got a son. Right. I ain't coming all the way up to his job. To right. His damn letter. Heck no. Nah. My son will right. be like, Mom, what you doing here? Right, exactly. I'll see you when I get home. Come on, I'll see you when I get home. What you know, but, but, but not, <laughs> but not that little, not that little Tootsie Roll son. He was happy to have her in there, and he was like, "I was just out. Oh, the case blew up. Well, not now. Look, you gonna blow up the spot next." Okay? Mama, did you bring some lunch? <laughs> now what look, bring some lunch. Now you you know her sister still kind of ain't all that thrilled about Tasha either. Right. I mean, they they had a little fake makeup, but they still ain't on good terms. And if they don't brought her up here for this, I can see her being back, um, following wherever the sun go, getting revenge on the whole organization at some point in time. Or the mama's gonna be collateral damage since they don't brought her back into the story. Mm. 
<laughs> Y'all killing me with this uh Junior is Angela's and <laughs> Ghost Son. I can't Yo, I heard I saw that. I saw that somebody saying that's Angela and Ghost Son. Well, yeah. I don't think it is. I don't think, yeah, I don't think so. Let me find out so. that, that what, look. Paz claimed him. <laughs> I mean, yes. that, well, it won't be a first because she is the older sister. And that's, that, that, that's probably, it makes I, sense. That's kinda what like, keeps happening in real life. It makes sense because kind of like now you know why the father can't stand them. You exactly. give my you, daughter you left pregnant. my daughter pregnant. Jamie, some padre, you do it. You stay away from my daughter. <laughs> you black guys with your cool talk. Moving on. Cool I, I don't want to I don't want to I know Lamont got, you know, a busy sketch. <laughs> sure do. My schedule is busy as hell. I'm like mm -hmm. a different world and the Cosby show. Mm -hmm. Back to back. <laughs> so, what Too do we hit. got up here next? Oh, I know what we got next. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Mm -mm. Too big. Oh God, I liked seeing him. I'm and sorry, y'all. Y'all can get me if you want, but I liked seeing him. He be so uh, rich I'm, to me. I'm gonna start with Moochie because that's one of Moochie's. That's one of Moochie's <laughs> crew now. You know how Moochie get when she get her some men on these TV shows. Moochie, one more are we gonna see your man Two Bit on this show or Tommy's show? And if we do see him on this show, will he link up and help Braden and Tariq? Learn something about this damn game. Mm. Look, two bit. Let me let me get, let me just say this. <laughs> what up, B. Two bit. Appreciate that was you. real smooth. What he did when he made get, look made him take the Cutlass Supreme. Damn right. And mm -hmm. it, it was a smart damn move right. because them cars that he got know when you go everywhere. Yeah. Tariq yeah. got now. Tariq got what he need right now. He don't know he do. it yet. He, he got what he needs. He got an old school car where everybody mm. ain't tracking him. Mm. And it's like the and classic cup of supreme. Like, yo, if you know, look, if you know from my day, I had my ex-husband had one of those cars. And you know, I ooh, that was like, you know, that's like one of the, the big things. Like that was like one of the big cars back in the day. So Moochie, I don't know. I, I had one. And if you had one, I know your husband cut them panty drawers up in the car too. So you can look, go ahead and tell I don't know about all of that. I don't know about all of that. I don't know about all of that, but he was picking me up from work and stuff like that. Yeah, they call it a, yeah, they don't call yeah. it a cutlass for nothing. You getting cut in that car. Right. That, <laughs> was, that wasn't no work memory pickup smile. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And did Don't you see how she did her hand like went, that? Jay, the hand waves went like this and shit. Like, I know. <laughs> she was glowing about that car. I don't know, know about look. Look, my look. I, all I can say is my son wasn't made in the car. Okay, that's why. <laughs> okay, okay. That's why his middle name is Cuddy. Cuddy. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> nah, but those were one of the cars back in the day, though. He, he I'm yeah. just saying. I feel like yeah. that. I feel like yeah. he 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 gave him that. I feel like that was like divine intervention. Look, you won't need this little mm. nigga. Take this. Take and, it, and I'm gonna take, take yours. it. Yeah. I, everybody was making a big deal about it, but nah, he got a cool car. It's yeah. Yeah. Well, he got it's it moved. in the bag. I love later. it. Look, he got his <laughs> phone. He still look. I, I'm I'm yeah. sure two bit still had a good system in it where he could still play like hook up put his a AUX cord mm. in there and keep it moving. AUX cord. All right, I'm just saying. I'm just happy to see uh what up the paper rising, okay? I'm just happy to see him behind the car. <laughs> okay, but but that don't solve all the problems, Monique, because his ass still can't fight. What I'm, about how he like got that see. ass beat by by Kane in episode again, nine? Again, what look how to fight. He, Look, don't worry. Two bit gonna school both of them. Between two bit and Tommy, they gonna learn how to fight this season. It's too late, man. It's been, it's been I, nah, it's not too late. I feel like they gonna get a lot of tutelage mm -hmm. <laughs> under them too. Right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so Jay, I got and, and, and they gonna you, teach them how not to act like they know everything. Cause you know when they that age, they think they know everything. Cause Tommy was telling them, look, don't start. A war, yeah, and he still got roped in by Dirty Diana. Hmm. And 
and dick in the mouth drew uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm just saying i mean we, we, uh, uh, anyway jay before i get in trouble let me go to you jay that was a mic uh, drop uh, moment i know look. no I, no <laughs> uh, um you know, i mean, I mean I mean, they they both their names begin with a D, so I mean, you gotta you gotta come up with something. Mm -hmm. uh, but Jay, Jay, Jay <laughs> who the way they've done this story, and we're gonna assume Kane's still alive. Would you rather see Tariq take out Kane, or would you rather see Drew, um, Braden take Kane out? Ooh. Who deserves who deserves that pleasure of taking out Kane the most? I, it's if it's a personal kind of, I would say Braden because he's gotten punked and sunned. But then again, okay. you you got my nookie. You know what I'm saying? That's my parking place. You that you don't park there. What the hell wrong with you? You didn't stuck your old black Cadillac <laughs> in my nice small compact garage and ruined it. Oh. oh. But Jay, that, do you think Tariq idea. really cared about Effie? I don't think Tariq cared about Effie like that. I think at I mean, one point like, he did. I think that hurt him when he saw that he, by the fact, he probably, you got a stretch limo. No! <laughs> no. He, remember, he lo remember he loved her. He said he loved her. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, don't I believe think it. he hurt, man. I don't know how bad to what level, like, you right. know, down in the dumps. But yeah. I think that if it wasn't for Kane, I think he'd be with her. They'd have got over it. But with that, he just ain't going to let that go. And as a guy, you know, we do take it a little differently than ladies. I have to give you ladies credit on mm -hmm. that one because you all are more resilient, I will say, in taking a guy back that cheats than guys feel when mm -hmm. that lady cheats, especially with somebody you know, you know, or have to keep seeing. He has to keep seeing them. Well, not anymore, but he had to keep seeing them. And stuff, so I'm <laughs> sure that was torture. You see, he got whooped in, uh, in David's office over it. So, you know, damn. That, that was a bad move for him to even try to fight Kane. Horrible move. Terrible. That's the show I heard he was because that was like he. Uh, uh oh. It was a bad move, but at the same time, it showed that he's not going to punk by nobody. You know, I, I I mean I knew Kane, I knew he wasn't ready to fight Kane, but at the same time, he won't about to let Kane just punk his ass. Sometimes you just got to step to a bully, uh, even though you might die. Him. He should have picked up the monitor and just cracked him in the back of the head or something. Yeah, even though you might die, you know, sometimes you just got to step to the damn bully. Like, you know what, nigga? You're going to have some resistance dealing with me. I mean, I know you can whip me and everything, but hell, you, you're going to have to get some sweat broke or something, okay? He tried, though. He tried. He tried. That's what I'm saying. He tried. He tried. He tried. I, but he tried. I, like, I feel like... like I feel like yeah, he's gonna though. learn. He's gonna y'all gonna see a different Tariq next season. We he's better. Gonna, he, we have to. Right. There's so many different things that's thrown out. You got to listen to Tommy's speech when Tommy what Tommy said to him. He listened because he was like, "You can't have your foot halfway and half out." Mm -hmm. And he got the same when somebody tell you something twice. Mm -hmm. That's a message to you. Message. Which, and he exactly message, <laughs> message. We, we like that. So he he, he got the message from his mom, <laughs> and he got the message from Tommy, and those are the two people that he values their opinions the most. The most. And, yep. and Tommy was schooling him. Look, yeah. you got you can't have your foot in and out of this game. You can't you can't do a war from the classroom. School is done as far as this point because the trust fund is gone. He's not getting That's that gone. back. Exactly. It's going. No point. So no school more. is out of the equation at this exactly. point now. Don't real. get me wrong. We might see Tariq go to school, but it's gonna be on some other ish. GED. That's it's right. Not, I'm That's not a right. GED. He got his. Degree you know what I mean? I'm just joking. He, he, I'm just saying, I, I uh, could see him doing some online college or something like that. Yeah, right. But 
No, no more Stansfield? No more Stansfield. That, that, no. That's, come on. All of this that happened there now is done. Yeah, it's right. It's done. It's be he done burnt bridges in New York. He's done. Plus, if he going to school every day, they know where he is and they'll just kill him. Exactly. All they got to do is catch him slipping and coming out of class. And look how Kane was dorm. coming up to the dorm room. He was just exactly. walking up in there freely. Yeah. So he, like, what, how you got to look at all, it, all of the equations. All of that is done. How does, so everybody know where he's at. So they yeah. know he's not going to be a standstill. I agree. Kane is already out. out of school. Yeah, he out. Yeah. They out. Once you see yeah. them driving, that's why my question, that's why my thing was, where Chicago. are they driving to? <laughs> Chicago ain't that far. You could do that drive. That's what you can do it. You can do it. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we, we lost one of the world's most foremost divas in Tina Turner this week. God rest her sexy old ass soul, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss Tina Turner. That was my girl. And when you need the presence of a diva, since we lost one, you can come to this channel and get one because look who we got. We got <laughs> Nita the Diva in the hey, building. Nita. What's hey, up, Nita? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm so up? sorry I'm late. Hey, Jay. Hey, Moochie. Hey, Monique. Hey, hey Lamar. Hey. I appreciate y'all. It's all good. Well, we'll go ahead and just throw you into the fire if you don't okay. mind jumping on into right. the fire. We've had a lively discussion tonight about this finale and everything that's going on with this finale. So this is what I want to ask, because we haven't even talked about this. What about my guy, Short Man Tate, who told me to quit calling him Short Man Tate? Mm. Are you still going to call him that? Damn, he gotta go. Tate, Tate gotta go. I'm what, sorry. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You wait. can't get rid of my favorite, one of my favorite characters. Why he gotta go? Tate did you see? Has did you see? Go. Did you see the way his his former fia, his fiance for 24 hours, Wakanda forever? You see the way she was looking at him when she overheard that conversation about him He's and his so dirty unethical. Dealings? He's so unethical, and I can't do it. I'm sorry. Nita, Nita they gotta everybody go. on this show, everybody on this show is unethical. And yeah, that is true. No, you you do bring up a good point. That is true. But at the same time, I feel like him being in the position, just you know how we talk about how police are in a position of, you know, and then what they do to the black community or minority communities or whatever. It's the same thing. I feel like he he does the same thing. I don't know. I just feel like he does the same thing. I think it's unethical and I don't like it. And injustice to anybody is injustice to everybody. So that's how. Wow. Jay, how do you feel about short man? I mean, excuse me, councilman Tate. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't, I never saw the, the love attraction or the romance between them on screen. I don't know. Me neither. Yeah, I never saw that chemistry. So they never I was, it. Yeah, they but, <laughs> but Jay, he did so, have chemistry with old girl that came to the to the political function in the, in yeah, the top. A lot of chemistry was there. It did seem like it was a little more chemistry there, actually, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So I'm surprised he wasn't trying to be with somebody like that, especially since he really wants somebody to just be there as a trophy wife. So why would you well, want her as your trophy Jay, wife when she's going to be questioning and nosy and saying this and that, and then you're going to have to hide and lie and sneak? Why would you choose to do that? Don't do that, you know? So I Well, don't Jay, know you got to have a, a person of – when, when you're going to be in politics, it helps to have a woman of circumstance. Like, you can't go bring the chick that's an IG model – when you have this chick that is a professor at an esteemed college, you know what I mean? Like, okay, when they ask you, oh, so what do you do? Oh, I'm a professor at such such college. What about you, bitch? Oh, I'm an IG model. I mean, you, you see what hey, I'm saying? Hey, all I gotta say is it worked for Trump. <laughs> it worked for Trump. What was his what was his wife? A model. She she was a mail order bride. 
Hey, get a some naked cat- model. Hey, he better mm-hmm. start getting her in catalogs. Naked. <laughs> he, like better, he better upgrade her into nude catalogs, then, is what he could have did for old girl. And hey, that might have got him uh, a couple mm-hmm. points up. You I'm know, sorry, but nobody, nobody's. Pole. Can I scan Might have got that pole up. Yeah, yeah, go for it, Mushi. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. paying attention to that cug with all three of them. He's going to wife for Chandria. Oh, God. I saw that. I'm sorry. That. He's going to do that because he has no choice right now. <laughs> I saw that. He has I, no like... choice right now, so he's going to do it. No. She was all man. in a huddle. It when I like saw that Mucci, I, I was thinking. I saw threesome and all level of stuff. I, that's what I was saying. I saw threesome. threesome. You saw a threesome but, but too? Think, no, I'm just well, saying, too, of course. Too uppity, but, but, uh, but Mucci, Mucci, I cabinet. saw threesome when Wakanda Forever tried to check Halt to Top Girl because it seemed like she was so animated. Like that got her panties wet that he was in there with his Halt to Top chick and she was just basically <laughs> side, you know, giving her pimp handed compliments. I was like, hmm. Maybe she down with the three part swirl, you know, the three oh, a bicycle no. made with three wheels. That's Y'all what I was thinking. Is, so. so bad. Y'all want a threesome so bad. I can't look, say it's gonna be the it's hey. gonna be the tape. Hey. The tape probably gonna get one and it might be yep. Harper. And, and and she might real Harper back in. I'm sorry. Yep, yep. And Bouchandria. Yep. And Bouchandria, you, look, you I'm just saw saying, how she went to hug them. You saw how she was hugging mm-hmm. all three of them. I'm sorry, that's the part <laughs> yep. I saw. I'm bringing that to your attention. That's, I Take saw it too. Back because he Take. really didn't burn no bridges because he got Diana out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as Mucci, far as RSJ, Mucci. he might come out. And, and Mucci, he got them green cards. So that's a favor that's owed to him from Tariq. And Obi, if we're gonna keep it 100. Exactly. Y'all not y'all gotta put all the pieces together and think of all yeah. the little intricate parts. Yeah. She, and, uh, and I and saw the way he might, he, she, don't be surprised if he if he might send Bashandria over there to talk to Harper to get him to come back. Get her to come back. Mm. Wait a minute, you Carolyn. Think, you come think on, she would Carolyn. listen to that? Yeah, somebody girl. said Carolyn said, hush, Lamont. <laughs> <laughs> He's a senator now. He's a so he got more power, y'all. Yeah, congressman. He's, congressman. he's a congressman. Okay, he's a congressman. Yeah. But he's it'll got be the power. senators next. Yes. He, yes. So I'm sorry. He, yeah. he he's working his way up. And I, um, I think I uh, wish they would bring this. Young. I wish they would bring that. That I, I wish they would have did the, the, the his show. He should have got his show. Me young. too. He should have got. I, his I, show. I I I really wanted yeah. to see that yeah. uh, in a different part of him, where we right. see him. You know, we already know he's but, dirty. All these the politics is, Mucci, is dirty. We seeing it in, in, in real life. Yeah, yeah. They they all crooks, man. And with him, I saw the way Brashandria was hugging them and looking down on their head with her tall ass. I seen it. Just looking yeah. down on both of them, hugging them. Like she wanted to be in the family, and it would be such a good story because her instructor is still Professor Harper, unless they change the storyline. So you can imagine all the trouble you can get into with a storyline like that. So mm-hmm. yeah, I can easily see that happening. And Brashandria looks like she's hungry. She done got a taste of this dirty polit- political game. Oh, oh, it's going down, y'all. It is definitely going down. <laughs> And <laughs> reading so much into the I can't take it. <laughs> you better start taking it, girl. Take it. That's what we do on this channel. <laughs> take it. And I'll get ready to get you all, all of y'all out of here for the next crew on this. And I'll start with Jay. Jay, I want you to rank this season of Power Book Two Ghosts and the finale. Give mm. me your ranking on it. This was their best season out of the three mm-hmm. by far to me. Um, I think that it was going really good. And then the last two episodes, I think they kind of added in more than they needed to a little bit. Um, I think that it was going good. Not that it ruined it, but I think that uh, it just got a lot more that it needed. So. Um, but overall, I would give it about a, on the rating of, uh, I don't know, uh, 
on the grades, uh, a B. Okay. I give it a B, okay. maybe even uh, okay. close to a B plus. Gotcha. B. I can live with yeah. that. What you got, Monique Nicole? All right. So for the finale, I am going to give it a nine. Oh. And for the season, I agree with Jay. I think this is their best season yet. Um, I'm going to give it like an 8.5. Mm, mm, okay. Well, um, okay. I can live with that. The hammer. How would you beat this thing through the wall? I like this whole entire season. Mm -hmm. I feel like they came with their A game. They came right. like they had something to prove. Yeah. With, well, I like the, the 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 playful competition between the other two shows, BMF and them. Yeah. So I feel like they came that through worked. where they felt like they had to come through and bring it through. And I love the fact that they are having a crossover because I see it coming. I don't know if y'all see what I see, but I see it. <laughs> but I see a crossover coming where this is going to really intertwine where we got, where if you got to watch one, you got to watch the other. And that's what I'm loving right. about it. So mm -hmm. I give it all overall because I, I won't give it. I know I usually be holding back and I did hold back all season. I'm going to give it a 10. Wow. And the reason why I give it a 10 is because it got us all wanting for more. It's got yeah. us all wanting to create stuff. It's got us all wanting to create theories. So look, stay tuned to all of our channels because we're going to have theories predictions and other stuff coming through so that's that's my thought on it that's where i'm at with it and i'm gonna leave it at that okay. mm. and last but definitely not least neither <laughs> the diva how would you rank the season and how would you rank the finale episode yes i'm gonna give all of it a 9.5 it was that the fact that you were able to give Tariq a redemption arc in this when when in the season one I was hating him I came <laughs> into this season hating him and then I am feeling like okay I'm rooting for him now the fact that the, the writers gave us this and it made sense I wish they had more uh, more episodes because I felt like they really crammed a lot into these episodes. Like, it really felt like it should have been more episodes or either let it breathe and make it be more seasons. I don't know what it was, but I just felt like they was really doing a lot. Even when I was trying to do my recaps, I was like, it's so much. It's so much that's going on or whatever. But anyway, I give it a 9.5. It's for the power universe and mm -hmm. power goes. It's damn near perfect. So it's the it is the best season of um power book two ghosts. Definitely. And the episode was phenomenal. Like the writing, they they hit me, and I was mm -hmm. like. Ooh, I didn't think it was going to go that way. I didn't think. I, right. I was so, I love that. I love when it's not predictable. I love when you throw a curveball in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop rambling and that's just it. 9.5, <laughs> both, both, both. Yeah, I love the plot. Um, same for me, ladies and gentlemen. I give the season a 9 and I give that finale a 9.5. Enjoy both. I thought this was the best season of Power Book 2 Ghost. Mm -hmm. They dumped Tariq right upside down on his own damn head. And I really like the way the writers went with this because it almost seems like the odds are insurmountable against Tariq and Brayden at this point. And it really makes you want to know what's going to happen how are these two young dudes going to survive in a world where you got all these fashions chasing them? So I'm intrigued by that. 
I want you guys to go check out Jay Mo. Be sure to check out Monique. Be sure to check out the Hammer Moochie. Jay is about to jump right back on, and he should be running probably when I'm done too. Um, you guys stay tuned for my next crew. Um, I will get this crew out of here, and sometime when I come back from L.A., I'll squad up with this crew again, and we'll make some more things happen. Till that next one, y'all sit tight. New crew coming in, and we'll see y'all. Peace. Peace. <laughs>
Hundred percent agree. Hundred percent agree. Monique, sixty-nine ways Johnson. I'm gonna need that Captain Planet shirt, Lamont. Oh well, Monique. You know, there's plenty of ways you can get one of these shirts. Just hit me up in the IG, and sister, I can see to it that you get yourself a Captain Planet shirt. And what else we got in here? Junior's letter is about Jenny. I do think it's going to have something to do with Jenny, but it's definitely going to have something to do with the crossover from the original power too. Cool. Believe that man. Y'all coming through with some great comments tonight. Effie and dirty Diana is a no good. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right. Professor Milgram was number one. There are never, there will never, ever be another Professor Milgram. Never. Never, never, never. And let's see what else we got going on here. Alex saying, next season, Tariq versus everybody shirts like Detroit. <laughs> Possibly so. Possibly so. We'll see. So then we also got to talk about this business, my people. What about Jenny? What's going to happen with her? Jenny did not get what she wanted in this season. Her mission is over with, okay? Like, she couldn't get Lauren to flip on nobody. I mean, she couldn't get Lauren to do a flip if she was in the damn Olympics. Lauren ain't talk about nobody. And so now, where does that leave Jenny? Is somebody going to reprimand her? Is she going to go chasing Tommy? Jenny is in a world of hurt right now, and she needs some get back. So the question is, how is Jenny going to get that back? Y'all let me know. Someone says, take show with Davis. The Wessons, RSJ, and other actors would be great. 100%. Let's see. Someone says, please explain to me how Sachs knew about Tommy being alive. There were some pictures taken in the last, during Power Book 4 Force that I do feel like somehow, some way got back to New York. And that's how, that's how Sachs would know Tommy is still alive. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen. First guest for the second hour. And you know business is about to pick up now. All the way from a city, a, t a state that's very close to New York, very close to Pennsylvania, and very close to Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the it's the homie Miss K. What's up, hey. Miss K? Hey guys, hey Lamont. Long time no see, my sister. I know. It's amazing to be back. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have you back. And girl, it look like you done went and got them teeth extra shiny now. Your teeth look as polished as a damn car wash, okay? Them things is glistening. Oh my <laughs> like, goodness. Like I, I go I go away for like six weeks and you done went and got Hollywood teeth work done. Look at you over there. Blow it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thanks. Are hey, you ready everybody. to talk a little power talk? Yes, just for a little yeah. while. Because okay. I got I have no a 12 o'clock show, so I got to continue okay. to get it together. All right. Well, let me bring in my other special guest who's got new songs dropping and setting new dance trends on TikTok uh -oh. and shit, y'all. They, they, they calling it the Lex Dance. The uh -oh. Lex Dash Targaryen. Ladies and gentlemen, Lex the Targaryen. Good. How are you? I'm good. It feels like it's been years since we all been on one accord. Like, oh my god! No, oh my gosh! I know, I know man. Y'all, y'all women get too busy for me and stuff, man. I'll be, I'll be sitting over <laughs> here jealous. Mr. Hollywood. Says Mr. No, Hollywood. Exactly. Exactly. No, 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 That's no, why I'm no. just holding my head. No, no, no. It's, it's not like that. <laughs> Go kiss a feel, baby. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I'm on yeah. y'all games. <laughs> that is hilarious. So, oh, so Miss God. Miss K, Miss K, Miss K, yes. how did you feel about this episode and this season, for that matter? I'm, I'm gonna start. I ended with that in the first hour. I'm gonna start with that in this hour. How did you feel about it? I felt I liked it. I liked it. I felt um pretty good about the finale. But it's like, whoa, what are we? Where are we going with this? You know, right? Everybody right. against Tariq. Sheesh! I gotta see him get out of this. They did sprinkle in little tidbits of help. You know, Tasha is somewhere lingering around. Right, she's lingering. Him and, Tom, him and Tommy is cool now. Mm, Two bit Tommy's is a wild around. card. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think Tommy gonna help him. He said no. Okay. So okay. yeah, I, I think we can. Oh, no. I think we we gonna stick to his guns on that one, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. And having said that, I'm gonna take you where I took everybody else. Starting at the back of the finale, are you comfortable with the way the last ten minutes of the finale went down in this episode? Am I comfortable with the way the the finale went the down? Fin- I yeah, mean, the, the last, last ten minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah, last ten minutes. Because one or two people didn't like it, but some people did. So I'm no, I'm curious to know you you're a writer. How did you feel about it? Um, I don't like the whole trying to take out a parent again. You know what I mean? I'm like, right, right. are we doing this again? Like we're not done. We're not done trying to delete parents. Like what's what the heck is up with that? Um, but the fact that you know she. And when I say she am uh, Monet, you know, she kind of like had to have her little, you know, her little explanation trying to explain why she's been so hard on her children and everything. And then um, uh, Diana finally sees the light like, oh, OK, you get my phone real quick. Finally sees the light until it's too late. But it's not even Tariq that's coming. It's freaking Tasha coming out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I said, what? But the way Ms. she K- held, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be back, okay? But the, hold on. So you tell me to hold on. But the way she oh, covered her daughter, I like that part. I do like that. I did too. All right. So the Khaleesi, now that we done got you back in the bid, talk to me. How did you feel about the last 10 minutes of this finale? Talk to me, Mazda, because you, you do some writing and some lyrical skills yourself. So how did you feel about it? I loved it. I thought it was just like as soon as you thought it was A, it was X. It was just like whoa, whoa, whoa. So it was it was quick, but it was just it was nice. It was just I feel like the whole everybody against Tariq thing, like it was it was nice and quick and to the point. Then you know the whole situ- situation with Monet. It was it was just everything kind of thrown in together. But Diana gotta go, and especially when you found out it was Diana that put everything there. I was like, oh no, yeah, Diana gotta go. She gotta go. Why wouldn't a woman be the mastermind of something that diabolical? I mean, That's y'all women have been this way since the creation of time. Y'all have used that brain to overcome, I guess, the, the, the physical presence of men, and it never ends. And so if, you, if you're doing your pecking order of who Tariq needs to kill first between Drew and Diana, you saying Diana over Drew? Um, yeah, I am, actually. Because in the oh. end of the day, Drew could have put it out there if Diana wouldn't have followed up it would have been like if she would have stuck to her no Drew you know what I'm saying Drew over there panicking in his panties talking about we are fighting for our lives I was just like okay Drew like it's, it's always the drama which I'm ready for Drew to go <laughs> who's been getting on my nerves since last season like Drew gotta go like I love oh that that's a Lavelle but like nah Drew gotta go everybody go except gotta go except Kane because Kane's still getting manipulated, and it's crazy. He's still getting manipulated. Except, you said it, except Kane. Everybody got to go except, except Kane. Kane. Everybody got to go except Kane. Now, l- let me say this about the actor playing Drew. Some people don't know, but ladies and gentlemen, in real life, he's not gay. Okay? No, he has a pretty lady. He has a beautiful wife, and he's a phenomenal dude. Um, and the things he does outside of acting, great guy. But he plays the hell out of a gay person on on TV. He does a good damn job. And he's doing a good damn job of being an emotional male in situations that require the rock solid 
ice water through your veins that is needed to do these situations. I was just telling them on the first hour, this is how you can get Drew. Tariq go find Everett and suck his ass in and use him as bait. And that's how you get Drew. That's exactly or how you get Drew. you John Tucker must die, Drew. You give him somebody and you say, oh, oh no, excuse me, deliver deliver us from, from Eva, Drew. Set him up yeah. with somebody about that. Hey, God, you got to be about that life. You can't be too. You got to be somewhere in the middle because – um, um, Everett, what it was too soft for the life, he would have got him caught up. He pre snitched, yeah. Definitely. Um, Gordo, you know, you gotta say it with the accent, Gordo was so into it that he was too into it. So, he needs somebody in between, somebody that understands the streets but stays out of them, know the street code, but you're not in harm's way, like somebody that rides the fence. It's a rare find, but you can find those. But yeah, like you, all you drew is love is gonna get him killed every time. So all of this Michael Corleone connections, like I get it, but let's 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 not push that button now because he's going. You know he's snapping further and stuff. But Drew emotions just make you want to slap him. Like when Kane told him you're not gonna be an effing NBA basketball wife, I was like, <laughs> yes, yes, somebody gotta tell him. He was right. Well, wait a minute now, Monet had to check old Kane and Kane because. Kane had succumbed to the fancy dancy panty draws of Effie and was acting like a little old bitch and was uh dare I say sprung over them draws. So yeah. talk to me, Miss K. Your boy Kane was acting up too. Where's she? Uh oh. At? She'll be back. Okay. So give me your opinion on your boy Kane acting up with Effie. Didn't want to take Monet had to tell him that she had him sprung. <laughs> you know what it is? Kane needs love. And I really just let, let me let me pitch to the world and the writers real quick. Hold up. You feel me? Because I'm already from the East Coast. So you ain't got a vocal training on none of that. Kane need a love interest. Cause he can't get the full love that he wants from his mother. The first girl that we actually seen him show real emotion towards. You feel me? Like she just played him like Kane wants to be loved and like Spinelli. I feel like that should be my name in the show. Can love him. You feel me? Kane just need to be loved. <laughs> that sounds like an East Coast name. Like, dang, what's the she name? She said Spinelli. <laughs> it's not, it sounds good. Like, it sounds good. But no, all jokes aside, Kane just need to be loved. And like, I actually knew if you was gonna like chew him up and spit him out because even. Real guys in the street, they always got a soft spot. It's that one girl that could like convince a killer to chill out. Like it's always one. And like Kane need a ride or die. Because honestly, Kane, he's a nut job, but I feel like he a good guy. Because you saw how how easy he's not gonna question his brother and sister. He was so easily manipulated, and they know that. People keep playing off Kane emotions. Same thing with his mother, and it's really messed up. His whole family treat him like he dumb, and it's so sad. Well, Lex. <laughs> What? They treat him like he's dumb because if it quack like a duck and it fly like a duck, it could be a quail. It, it's de it's definitely not a Canadian goose. <laughs> the, the nigga's dumb, and he keeps falling for the same banana in the tailpipe. So, I mean, it, people people are only going to do to you what you allow them to do. And he's allowing everybody to keep spinning his brain around to the point where he done got his ass shot. He shot. Yeah, I'm telling that that bullet that Braden Braden had to hit him that one time. Braden came in there like Rambo. I said, okay, he done got dead. That boy not white no more. All it took was you to push your uncle to come out spraying like that. Okay, Bray. Okay. That's what I was like. Like, see, for my young folks, Rambo was something that me and the Khaleesi was able to watch because we was born of a certain year. Done by um, Sylvester Stallone. I just know the reference. <laughs> you you, are you serious? You ain't. You haven't even saw the new one. I've never seen any of them. Wow. Well, I, I was the thinking the same though. thing. Yeah, I was thinking this. I was like, yeah, Braden came through like Rambo, the Force of Freedom. Yeah, now nah, he was got his boy. Way. Yeah, got his boy up out of there. But come on, can can we say that that was a little bit of a stretch? Because this was Noma's, this was Noma was there. And you mean to tell me the only, well, you know what? I take that back. Because Obi helped set it up. I was about so to say, never it's mind. believable. Yeah. yeah, it's believable. And But here's the thing. I didn't even talk about this last hour. 
how loyal is Obi going to be to Tariq going forward? Because Tariq helped this man family. And when Obi, you help somebody, fa- yeah, you got you owe them something. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, and if it happens, you heard it here first. Obi is going to be how Tariq knock off Noma because she's not going to see it coming. No one's going to get knocked off. I don't know how, what season, when it happens, but Obi is going to be that gateway. Because with that, Tariq don't want that type of – he want power, but not in the sense of how Noma got it with that. You feel what I'm saying? That global stuff. But I can see either him and Obi working together or Obi taking over for, like, Noma and, like, giving Tariq his branch of freedom. They could write that two different ways beautifully because he's officially yeah. off from under her thumb. Because she's out the way. That's the only way. The only way you're gonna be able to get from out under Noma. It's not even gonna be with her daughter because she'll still come after you. She knows you're breathing. Like they're gonna have to take out. Mm-hmm. And she ain't gonna see and it coming with Obi. Lord, I got you. Just gave me two thought points. So I'm gonna go with the first one here. It says, "Shout out to Tania G. Two dollars super chat. Appreciate you." It says, "When the lights cut off, I bet Obi shoot um shoot Noma." So that brings one point. I got um. Khaleesi, do you think that do you think they would even play the show where Obi would legitimately take out Noma? Um, I don't believe right there in the garage, but later on in the show, I could definitely see that happening. And we see the breadcrumbs. Remember how she sliced him with that knife? He was like, I served you loyally. And then mm-hmm. think about what he said to Rick. This is what I got for stalling Noma. Like, he under the thumb too. Think about how she said it even in the beginning. You're too generous, as is my right. I apologize. Like, oh, she she's not to be played with. She gotta go. She gotta go. She gotta go. She gotta go. And how is she gonna feel to know that that man family is somewhere safe in America and not under her thumb? Because she's got to find out about that next season. She's gotta yeah. find out. I think he bet off with Tariq too, because all Tariq had to like he still he got the same connections and less what's the name. Like he got it done a lot faster. She could have been taking her time because she knew that's what Obi wanted. Like somebody like Noma, she ain't gonna love nobody besides herself and her daughter. Like she off the baby daddy, like she's crazy. Like, yeah, she right. she, she gotta go. She, yeah, gotta go. she nuts. Shout out to her son Jordan Dollar Ninety Nine. Appreciate you, my brother. You know who Noma in real life? You know who she married to, right? Yeah, I told you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. You did. You know, I, I was going to shout you out, you know, and everything like that. But for my Fresh Prince, I mean, my Bel Air fans, in real life, she's actually married to Adrian Holmes, the new Uncle Phil. They are a couple. Now, is he British, too? I'm actually not sure if he's Brit. I know she's Brit. I'm not sure if he is though. Yeah. I, think he's I, I don't think he's. I don't think he's a British. But and, I think he's and my British. American. Yeah, my my British is horrible because I'm from the South of America. Okay, so it's hard to make a country accent go British. But so it's yeah. actually easier for me because I'm from the North. Is that what it is? Yes, definitely because you're from the North. Definitely. Well then, I never thought about that way. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, yeah. Hell, girl, go, go get some. Go sign up for a show in Europe right now. I'm That's telling you, I've is. had conversations with actual British people, and I actually see if they can pick up the dialect, or they'll be like, "No, you're an American." No one actually pins it out. So I'm like, I think it's actually really good. Well, I'm an American, hearing it from you. So maybe if I was in Britain and I heard, it, I would be able to pick up on it. But no, you know, I, no, no, <laughs> no, no. And I wouldn't even dare go over there and try to act like I'm gonna rob somebody and I'm British because they would they would out my ass so quick. They know I'm straight from the country of North Carolina. Wouldn't get away with nothing. Right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then as we transition, is anybody in that circle gonna be able to trust Effie? I don't trust Effie. Effie's a bird. And I said this a long time ago, and everybody wanted to know she could change. Effie's a bird. She been a bird. Tariq fell for a bird and got fraud. She's a bird. I said this. Like, I hate her with a passion. You think think Tariq got fraud because of Effie? I mean, he got away in the end. He got away. Because in the end of the day, she, like... She she's absolutely she 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 doing stuff that in the end of the day nobody asked you to do it. I get it that you're like she was moving off of 
love, what she thought was protecting him on top of jealousy. She already knew how he felt. She saw how he was moving around, Lauren. You can't tell me the girl, he was like, oh, she a snitch and she want my nigga. Like, nah, she gotta go. Like, it wasn't well thought out. It wasn't well thought out. She survived. That you opened up a whole nother can of worms. When and then even the speech that she gave her, you threatened my future. It had nothing to do with you. If Tariq went down, Tariq went down. You wasn't even selling drugs with him. She's a simp. Like, I hate Effie. I can't wait. Listen, I can't wait. I hope she the first person he off. Talking about something you gotta kill someone. You like I hope he knock her wig back. I can't wow. wait. Yeah, nah, Effie wow. got her. She Ladies and gentlemen, oh. if you don't know the the, the Khaleesi, it, it, you never get her this adamant, this vehement about characters outside of Game of Thrones. And she is yeah. really, Effie done pulled your hair kind of hard, huh? Yeah. Did she braid your hair? Man, <laughs> she got my edges lifting. Like, I, I hate her with a passion. Diana next, like, but Effie, she take the cake for me. It's just like, you bird brain they should have let you rot in there and i said that i'm like let her rot let her rot but look, no look, speaking of rot what talk, talk to me about the fight that the uh prison guard stage and effie actually did a good job of <laughs> she's talking about her with a pillow ain't no good job I'm like, who? who? <laughs> ain't nobody coming in. She ain't coming there with no shank. She came in there with a whole conversation. Let's go. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> Effie is, it, like, I was just so lost. Like, oh my God. Oh man. L Ladies and gentlemen, tell me how y'all felt about the Effie pillow fight. <laughs> that's what it was. It was a damn pillow fight in there. But shout out to Hassan for the 499. And then shout out to Herbie Ben Ami. Just got anyone mention the USB sax left for Junior. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit, but let me hear what the Khaleesi has to say. What do you think is on that USB drive? No one sax, a bunch of incriminating L. Sax was on some draw four plus two from behind the grid. <laughs> like it's probably footage is probably stuff from davis it's probably pictures it's like it could even be stuff on oh you know it would be crazy if somehow sex is probably not this but somehow sex was getting info on tommy or something like that and sent it to prep for the crossover i don't know i honestly don't even know it's that it's I, I have no idea what's on that flash drive i'm not even gonna pretend to ponder but i know it's something incriminating <laughs> it's, it got it's a bunch it's a bunch of stuff on that flash drive there is because in new york tommy's dead but blanca rodriguez and the crew got pictures of tommy in chicago he's supposed to be dead i guarantee you some of them pictures is on that flash drive that'd be crazy remember um, and 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 I guarantee you, there's some kind of maybe a lie and some other data that he's got about Tariq that ties in with Tasha and Tommy to help solidify the crossover of the show. So, yeah, uh, Sax was wild, and he he really uno uno out from the grave. I was just like, wow, hey, you wow. can't keep a good man down. You a win is a, a win. Because even Monet ignoring the letter, Diana still took it with a bad lump wig. They didn't even lay the wig down for the scene. She oh my god! Top. I was I, like, okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I said I won't going to talk about women's fashions and hair no more unless another woman do it. Thank you. Like, what the hell was up with that wig? That wig was halfway red. You know, back in my day, you want me to tell you how women used to color their hair with a Kool Aid packet. And that's what it looked like somebody did with her hair. It looked like they no, took that wig like she, she had. took on their wig off the mannequin and just sat it on top of her. And it was the, it's the gift from Monet Tahada. I was like, ciao. If y'all don't knock Diana Block off, knock it off. I'm tired of everybody. Everybody got to go that betrayed my boy Reek. Everybody got to go. I was Here's ready to fight in that circle. Like, Diana, you bird. What? You wanted your mother dead and you still do. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And here's another one who was having a bad hair day. Effie Ponytail went from 100 to zero in jail. Oh God. 
Oh, man. You know, she good. She pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, Miss Khaleesi, give me some parting words. I'm about to get ready to get up out of here. My little one is asleep, and I'm not trying to wake her up. Yeah. So, give me give me your um, parting words on how you felt about the season overall. Like, give it a ranking, and then give me a ranking for the finale. And then I want you to pontificate on what you expect to see early next season perfect all right so i'm not gonna lie like the season the season was good but the season was predictable up until nine and ten i feel like it was almost like bait and switch like yeah y'all think y'all know what's happening boom no you don't and nine and ten i feel like certain episodes stick out because they almost look like from the shots is more movie-esque than other episodes yeah. it's mm -hmm. usually episode one that that has that look you know what i mean but nine and ten yeah literally was like a movie that was just broken in half like part a part b and it was amazing from a dramatic tragedy regardless we all know monet is gonna survive we've seen pictures with her and michael ely who's newly casted so but we don't know how it affects her like you know what if she paranoid what if she know her kids do it because diana was moving sketchy you got to pay attention to the words she was like so you don't got nothing to say until we get to here and then she's like okay my Mooji! <laughs> But Look, I was out in the street. I had to turn back and circle back and come home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Please don't tell me you came back home. Yes, I did for y'all because I love y'all. Y'all my people. Oh, look, Mooch, Mooch, we about to get off now. It don't matter. Oh, I Lord. Gee. That's the point. Oh, okay. Well, we appreciate you, too, on, on these streets now. We appreciate you, too, on it. Finish your point, and then we got to let Mooch get in a great point, too, before we get out of here. Okay, um, just in a nutshell, like she was, you know, saying you don't have anything to say, like she was kind of up and aware and then, you know, they just start spraying. But from the, the spray even coming from Tasha, like Tommy and 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 Tasha mending up their thing, which leaves a clear open for her to honestly cross over to, uh, I personally think that's the opening for the crossover, you want my honest opinion. But um, that's the story, we'll hop on that another time, I suppose, but <laughs> um, I, I loved it. Just like I think that's where Brayden and Tariq are going right now. I think the season opener of Force will have Brayden and Tariq because where else would you go? You gonna have to pull up on Uncle Tommy right now. No man's after you. Like you need your Uncle Tommy, bro. So it, it was a lot. But I personally loved. Like when I say I, I saw the leaks. That's why I ain't been saying nothing online. I was guilty. I watched the first five minutes of the first league and was like, what? When Kane beat up Rick, I said, oh, nah, let it play. Let it play. <laughs> so I'm just so happy that they ended it well. Like, the ending was not as predictable as the rest of the season. All the actors were amazing. Like, and, you know, Effie got to go. First one, take her out. She got to go. Then Diana. Mm. Effie first. Mm. Mm. Oh, you Moochie. wasn't here earlier when I was. He need to wipe all of them out. They all gotta go. They all gotta go. They all gotta go because they he can't trust them no more. No, and, I, and, and and I like right. the part that you mentioned about Obi getting down with Tariq. He is because he it. already been betrayed, and now Tariq done did something. Tariq and them had that little bonding session with the family thing. So he's going to be loyal to Tariq, too. And mm -hmm. he might not need no more to go to international. Trust and believe. Mm -hmm. Trust and believe. He might not need no more to go international. I came back. You know you my day one, Lamont. You know I'm down like 10 toes. So anywho, I just, with, 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 with all of this, it is so much opportunities with this crossover thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I will elaborate on it more. I'm telling y'all, um, if the if, being that we got this whole strike thing going with the writers, and now they talking about the actors might go on strike, we might have to sit and wait. But please be patient, y'all, because I think it's gonna be really, it's gonna be fire, y'all. It's gonna be fire because you already know that 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 force is done. The way they talk, yeah, for, for, force, force is, is done. done. Force is done. So I I I I can only imagine the 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 the, the where they're gonna go with this. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to when I go to LA, I'm supposed to get up with Jannard 
um, Chris D. Lofton. And of course, he can't give me a lot, but know. you know, he'll get drop drop some tidbits in my ear about what's going on. And um, you know, so like Moochie said, y'all, there's a strike going on in case you didn't hear. The writers are on strike and they're gonna push this thing to the hill. Believe it. Believe that. Because if you was to see the peanuts they get compared to what um the CEOs and the executive branches is bringing in from these streaming shows. They need to be on strike. And the right, the actors guild goes on strike June 1st. And then July 1st, I think the producers go on strike. And ladies and gentlemen, these people is not giving in this time because there's too many coins involved in this stuff. It's just way, it's way too much money. And people, I guess sometimes people have this assumption that the writers get paid like the actors. In the beginning, they don't. Especially in TV, especially in TV, they mm. don't. They don't. So yeah, this, mm. this thing is gonna go on, go on for a minute. So if you really want to get some good content, you're gonna have to stick to us YouTubers that know how to put some stuff together. <laughs> Miss <laughs> K, K, give us some parting words, my sister. I'm about to go to bed. My mini me is asleep. Oh, I'm sleep. sorry. I didn't know you were gonna be on this short. Okay. Parting words. Well, Parting words. What do you? What would you like to say about the show, and what do you expect to happen next season? Hmm. Um. It's it's kind of hard to 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 say. I don't I don't really know right now. I don't know what to expect. I just feel like, you know, now that I feel like Tasha is gonna be back now. And I'm, mm. I'm not really here for that, to be honest. What? Um. Yeah, I don't really care for that. I feel like this is supposed to be the, the, the next generation kind of situation. Leave all the ghosts, the, you know, the original ghost characters, kind of just get them out of here. Um, we, if we're just supposed to be dealing with hey. the next generation, I don't really want to see Tasha. I'm not here for the, the, it. The, the new generation still got parents, Miss K. Yeah. Leave them in Witsec, you know. But, uh, but wow. you know, there's no need for Witsec now because Tommy, <laughs> she done squashed it with Tommy. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> Miss K, a rude damn! You made to push Granny right over the cliff, ain't you? Like, <laughs> Miss K, you a mama? <laughs> I know, but I don't. You know, I don't know, and I don't dislike Tasha. I, I, right. I used to, but right now I don't. But I just don't want to see her. I, I mean, I've had enough. Look, if you're not gonna bring back ghosts, don't bring back freaking Tasha. Uh, don't sleep on that. Pull that thought. Don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. I think. I think I'm what you just saying, said. I think you might come. It might come to back. issue. Don't bring it back. I know so, there's. I know there's so, so much talk. There's been talk for years. I ain't really. Mm -hmm. oh, well, uh, when well, I see it, day, then you know. I'll he actually. He actually took a meeting with them this time. In the mm -hmm. past. In the past, that he wouldn't even take their meetings. Oh. He actually took. He actually took their meeting this time. And. Some people are saying he took the meeting because his movie career ain't going well. Some are saying, you know, they got speculation running rampant. Wow. But what is true is that he took the meeting. Mm, okay. I mean, look, I did see him, you know, some little stuff circulating around with him saying, you know, whatever. So I said, okay, well, all I know is when I see it, that's okay. when I believe it. That's when I'll be a believer. But right now, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm waiting for this little duo between, you know, um, Ebony and Ivory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, who else is going to join them? So Ebony and Ivory. Yeah, I, ain't, I ain't like everybody else that's excited. I ain't excited. I don't really care. You know, About Force? No, I'm, I mean, I'm not excited about Force. I'm not excited about um, Power Book. Uh, to next season, I don't really like. I'm not. A, I'm not fiend out like that. You okay, know, when it comes I got back, you. It comes back. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, ladies, let me get you guys out of here on this for real this time, because somebody then sleepwalked out the bed and looking <laughs> at me crazy. Anyway, what shows are y'all going to be watching between now and September? Starting with you, Hammer. Okay, I just finished Love and Death. We're gonna be talking about it in an overall. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that soon. 
Um, I am watching class of uh, it's on FX class. I want to get the year wrong, but everybody knows what I'm talking. Oh, about. 99. Yeah. 99. So I'm I'm talking. I I I looked at that. Uh, of course, uh, uh, runs the world, and you know other little stuff. So we gonna, okay. uh, you know, I'm getting my I'm getting my little roster together. I got a couple <laughs> predictions coming out. <laughs> and I'm gonna make it happen, y'all. And you know, I'm you know, I'm re I'm revamping my ish. Yeah. Oh, no, no doubt. You know, you don't need a remix when you're already puffy, and that's the habit. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, Lex the Targaryen, you are a very interesting, eclectic sister who does a lot of interesting reads and a lot of interesting shows. What are you gonna be watching between now and September? Um. I want to try the show Rabbit Hole. I keep seeing like little snippets of it and it looks really good. And then I definitely want to watch Fatal Attraction, the TV show, because I'm a huge fan of the movie. Like, I know that movie like I know Friday. Like, what? Me I won't be ignored, Dan. Like, what? That is my movie. What? Yeah. So unfortunately, I me too. The TV show. Yes, I want to see the TV shows. I think, you know, with them taking a different spin, that that's going to be good. Um, and I'm going to watch the other version of Candy, um, the HBO version that has uh, one of the uh, the Olsen sisters uh, playing yeah. it versus the, the, because I'm not going to lie, the Candy that's on Hulu is probably going to be really hard to beat with a, uh, Whoever JT wife is, I can't think of her name right. Jessica Al Bill. Jessica Alba. Bill. The one that you talking about the one on HBO that's Love and Death. That's um, she's on there now. You know, that's the one that that is that's on HBO. No, not the one on HBO. The one on Hulu had Jessica Bill. I'm saying the one on HBO that you talking about that has the Olsen sister. So I'm gonna check that one out because I watched the one with Jessica Bill on. Yeah, Love and Death. And you're gonna definitely know the difference. Yeah, no, totally. So I I started episode one, so I'm gonna finish that. And um, other than that, I don't really have any shows. I'll look for some stuff and find some stuff, but I'm kind of just still prepping myself for Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon. And like you know, keeping up with those updates and Jon Snow horrible show, and you know, <laughs> God, it is it, it, like, Can I ask y'all a question? House of Dragons yeah. is not coming on. Is it coming on this summer? They no, said, no. Well, they said twenty twenty four, right? Early twenty twenty four. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, that's yeah, so like January, probably probably right after the Super Bowl is when that's going to come back on. Okay. Yeah, okay. February, March. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and before I come to Miss K, I will say this to Lex. In the beginning, Fatal Attraction, it starts out pretty slow in the beginning. Like, they do, they do a lot of jumping back and forth. Mm. But by by episode three, once you understand what's going on and that bitch go crazy, that's when it get good. And when I tell you there's Easter eggs in that thing from the first one, you know the rabbit had to show up. <laughs> The damn poor rabbit. That's all mm. I'm gonna say. That poor rabbit. The damn yeah. poor rabbit. You know the dog had to show up. Ah, uh, nah. Like, she did something to the dog this time. I want to fight. Mm-mm. No, they was walking that dog like he had his lap. Like he, like he haven't been walked in days. He was. He was like, why y'all taking me this fast? In the first one, he was running through the park and all that, and they running like wow. Well, wait till you see what happened to the dog on this one, and then. <laughs> <laughs> and then on this one, Lex, they got a pool in the backyard. Oh. Mm. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm-hmm. When you catch up, let me know. Cause like I said, when I get back from this LA trip, I'll actually have some time before my son is born to do mm. some videos. Oh, so man. uh go on, go and catch on up so we could do some videos before August get here. Cause hey. this- the show is right. The show All is right. right. And last but definitely not least, Miss K, Miss K, Miss K, what would you be watching? Inquiring minds want to know. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know right now. I'm in the writing period of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really don't know right now. I can't with this this break coming up. I'm not going to say that I won't. I'm going to make sure my channel stays active, um, mm-hmm. but I, I have to, I have work to do, so 
um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm watching stuff, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be talking about it. So, um, love and love, love and death. Is it love and death? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I didn't see the finale of that or the the episode before that. But I actually started watching that from episode three. I didn't even start started from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and uh, from I have to. Um, I'm like five episodes behind with from. So I got to catch up on that, but I do want to talk about that on my, um, you know, on my second channel. So that's pretty much that. That's all. You just got to keep the notification bell on so that, you know, whenever, whatever I do final, finally talk about, you'll know. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, that's what kind of where I'm at with stuff um, probably till mid June is mm -hmm. when I'll officially be doing like videos on a regular for a you know, a couple of weeks or what may have you. Um, Marvel is about to be coming back with Secret Invasion, Samuel L. Jackson. This mm -hmm. summer, y'all get ready for that. I'm I'm excited for that. That's going to be good. And um, that'll be right in the time space where I can squad up with the crew again. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, follow these young ladies. And Lex, tell them about your music and what's going on with that. Um, yeah, I just dropped a new video last Sunday, so go watch the My Scene video. I shot that in Brooklyn, so shout out to Brooklyn. Yeah, I had to Hello. tell my daddy home place for that one. I'll never drop over there again. I hate it, but shout out to Brooklyn. Which was <laughs> but, in East New York? Where were you? Up Flatbush. Oh, okay. It was too much. Look, look I get move, anxiety move, dropping look. in New York. I love it. I just get anxiety. It's like, oh, but no. Uh, yeah, check out the new video, Stream Firestarter, of course. And yeah, got some new stuff coming in July. Mm. All righty then. All righty then. Well, folks. We out of here. Check out my crew. They're doing great work. I feel like the void that I have left is fully fulfilled with these great, great <laughs> women doing all the great stuff that they do. Stick with them. Until y'all see me again sometime next week, I'm out of here. Bye. See y'all. Bye-bye.